everybody. Welcome back to a new episode of Wine Night Chronicles. Hey, Nat. Hey, Ty. Hey, Jesse. Hey, hey, Ty. Hey, Nat. Hey, happy Wine Night. Happy, happy, happy Wine Night. Happy Friday. Oh, yes. I'm, I'm so happy to be here with you guys. So let's cheers to that. Let's cheers to Friday. Let's cheers to Wine Night. Let's cheers to you, us. And wine. Happy wine. Yes. Night. Yes. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Cheers, darling. Mm. Mm. That was yummy. That was real good. Yeah. Tonight, we're going to have so much fun because tonight we're doing a wine night for wine beginners. So get your glasses ready because we're going to try three wines for people on a budget. We'll give you a breakdown on price, taste, and alcohol content. And the mm. names, yeah, and the names mm. of all the wine will be located in the description of this video. But before we get to our first bottle, let's discuss wine accessories. Most mm. importantly, the type of wine opener you have. What you got next? Well, you know, that is the most important thing when you're drinking wine is you got to get it open, right? <laughs> yes. So for me, one of the best gifts I've ever received, thank you, mm -hmm. Malena, um, is my electric wine opener. And it's a cuisine art. How do you mm -hmm. say it? Cuisine art? Cuisine art vacuum art? sealer, cordless wine opener. And, right. It's a um, vacuum sealer too? I don't know. <laughs> what do you mean a vacuum sealer? Is that what it, you said? It's a vacuum sealer? It, that's the name of it. Cuisine Art Vacuum Sealer Cordless Wine Opener. That's why I wonder if it's me. a vacuum sealer. It doesn't, okay. no, I think I've it's never like, tried vacuum. No, because it like, vacuums it up. Right, oh. right. Oh, okay. Yeah, come on. Not so, that much yeah. multifunctional. <laughs> and um, yeah. it's about $40 on amazon and mm -hmm. with this baby i'm never gonna go back to manual wine openers ever again i mean it's Ooh. just the press of a button and that's it it takes the cork out it brings it out and mm -hmm. you get this cute little foil cutter with it oh i love those yes. you guys know what these are explain to them what it is so you put it on top of your wine you see how it's sealed with the foil you put mm -hmm. it on and you just turn it and it cuts the foil off. Before. That's so awesome. Yes. Foil. So, so it's awesome. Great, great gift. Uh, I'm right there time? with you. Yeah, I'm right there with you now. Like I'm never going back to manual. Um, mm. So one mm -hmm. of the gifts I got for like a couple of birthdays ago, I don't remember, from my husband was also an electric wine opener um this is an oster electric wine bottle opener and mm -hmm. it's priced at 19.99 on most Ooh, of yeah. the online retailers so affordable it's also cool it has mm -hmm. the charging station the button mm -hmm. and the foil cutter as well i love these i love, I love that foil cutter oh my God. it just makes like so much easier I it wonder does. why I still have corkscrews laying around the house, like <laughs> relics, just relics. <laughs> but I relics love from days past. Yeah. yeah. Well, what about I you have, guys, Sydney? Okay. Well, for I have a wine opener for wine beginner. Oh, okay? I remember those. Yes, and you can <laughs> get these from Publix, any liquor store. Even the little look so in the hood, you got them. You can get them anywhere. Ty's house. Ty's house. <laughs> <laughs> they're everywhere. Yeah. Everywhere. And they're, it's really simple to use. You know, you just put this little thing down into, let's take this bottle for an example, into the cork and you screw this little thing down. These come down. You, and, they got that nice rubber coating so you don't hurt your hand. And then you lift it up and it pulls the corkscrew up and your wine is open. So it's simple, very easy to use, 
you can find it anywhere and it's like $5.99. Yeah, no, and they're they're mm-hmm. they are my go-to for years. So mm-hmm. I've effective. I've just broken a lot of wine corks in half with those. You know, you've had really? a no, yeah, I once agree. you try to open your next bottle of wine, I I, yeah. <laughs> I can't function. <laughs> no, it's those uh, little it's too complicated wine openers that just have that's this just like the key thing on it. Yeah, that, just yeah, it's just like a, I can't oh, do those. I, I don't have those. the strength. Yeah, I just don't. Don't ever buy one of those. They're horrible. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, you gotta you gotta put too much work into opening the wine. Yeah, it should it shouldn't be that. You don't want to work. All yeah. you need is a button. Push the button and you're good. Love it. And you're good. <laughs> Just push a button. Yeah. All right. Well, awesome accessories. Awesome pieces of advice. I'm ready to drink. I know y'all are too. Yes. So, um, as you can see, we have already started with our first bottle right here. So I'm going to sip this first. Mm-hmm. I'm going to sip it with you. And um, this is a bottle that I bought out of your curiosity. Mm-hmm. And it's, and I'm sure that some people have heard of it already. It's the 19 Crimes Cali Red Edition. And as you can see, very famous figure on the front, Snoop Dogg. So when I saw the bottle... I was like, oh, am I going to get sucked into buying something because it has a celebrity? And I'm like, yes, I am. I got mm-hmm. it. It was like $11.99. Um, the most I've ever seen it for is like $14. And it's a mm-hmm. red blend, which personally, I'm not into blends. I like, you know, mm-hmm. like your Cabernet, something pretty dry. Mm-hmm. And oh, please, guys, tell me what you think about it. I mean, I think it's just... Let me see the key. It's so. Oh. Mm, wait, I'm gonna try it right for the people. For the people, oh, I'm gonna smell God. it because so I never thought of smelling. Good. Oh, I never do that. I feel like that's very like I don't true. It. And then you're I'm supposed like, to like put it in yeah, your I'm mouth and not swallow and, it and swish it around your. Yeah. Palm. I, I'm, Mm-mm. And I mean, if you really want to get into stuff, it you can learn about the legs of the wine. Mm-hmm. Oh, when you, like, by tilting it, oh, and the lighter yeah. it or, is, or you swish it and you see like how the wine falls down the glass. Those are the legs. But this isn't that type of wine. We're not that. No, we're not those no. people. Mm-hmm. No, no, I would never <laughs> pretend to be. And honestly, for someone who likes dry wine. I mm-hmm. think this is perfect. I mean, it's smooth and it does have a sweetness sweetness to it. I'm not mm-hmm. into sweet wine, but this one mm-hmm. definitely passes the test with me. And for mm-hmm. anybody out there who's like, oh, red wine. Now this is, I think, a good beginner. Yeah, it is a good beginner yeah. wine. It's very smooth. I'm really happy with it. I love it. I- yeah, I really like it. Like like Ty said, especially for beginners, uh, red wines can be very intimidating for someone mm-hmm. who's just learning about wine. So if you want to start with a red wine, but you're not sure where to go because red wines can be too dry for you, I would definitely say start with this red blend. It does have some sweetness to it, like Ty said. It's very mellow. It's not yeah. harsh. It's very not mellow. overpowering. Not overpowering. It's, it's not I, like a wine I, cooler. I'm pleasantly surprised. I didn't Me expect too. that to Gosh, taste no. it good. I'm surprised. surprised. Surprise. This is the first time I try it. And let me tell you, it is so good. It's one of my go-tos now for sure. And you know, as the name implies, it's from California. And it's 14.1. Mm-hmm. Alcohol content, alcohol content, which I think oh, is pretty yeah. good. Mm-hmm. Most wines go to like 11 or 12, and this one's, you know, gotta up the well, game. You gotta, yeah. You gotta think, yeah. You gotta, you think. gotta think. Yeah, I don't think he'd put his face on anything just for the fun of it. I mean, this is a great marketing decision because I bought into it <laughs> and I delicious. love the flavor. So, yeah. yeah, I recommend it. All right. Well, I know we're going to move on to bottle number two, right, Destiny? Next up. Yes, let me just finish this. Again. <laughs> Girl. Wow, okay. he's trying okay. to get wasted. <laughs> <laughs> I told you we have the fun. Tonight. Out my knees. Yes, all right. Snoop's so, got us lit. 
Yeah. Well. Here's the problem with having the old trusty line opener for beginners. You do not have that cool little thing to take this paper Foil out. Yeah. You could buy like, those separately, though. Ain't nobody know? doing that. Nobody's doing that. I had you, one before I got the, the electric one. <laughs> what you do before you get the electric one is you get a knife out the kitchen and you slip it through and you cut it off. That's that's oh, yeah. or you take your that. nail like I'm about to do right now. I'm sorry, y'all. You don't y'all. have any like me. I would just poke it and fight with it. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. I would sometimes use a corkscrew itself, oh, like the pointy something. part, mm-hmm. and just so like, tie. Let's draw a ring let, around it. Let's open ours while she struggles. Welcome to the 21st <laughs> century. <laughs> Hi, Dusty. <laughs> How fun is that? <laughs> Don't worry, I got something. Maybe. Oh, look at yeah. that. Effortless, even. Voila. You're one. Oh, open. Open. And then you press oh, the yeah, other button. Look at that. And out, See? Wait. out comes the cord. Out comes the cord. Yes. You know, I'm not going to You guys may want to so get the like electric that. one. <laughs> so, yeah. this is how <laughs> I haven't even opened it yet. This is how you open with the five ninety nine wide opener, <laughs> right? So look, you Use those muscles, this girl. Yeah. On okay. that, right? Let's hold that, okay. and then we're gonna twist. Make sure we got it straight. Twist I know, it away. I want to put it on my knees. There we go. Mm-hmm. God. Twisting, tw- you see how you remember those days, Nat? Because I've completely forgotten them. <laughs> Yo, oh! Oh, it's like okay, okay. Y'all hear that, people? He done got too good for the little regular 599. But I'm gonna tell you when they use the 599 wine on oh. when you are on vacation. And you are not at home and you ain't got your fancy wine opener and you just got some wine from the liquor store, you get that wine opener from the liquor store. And guess what they got? This. They ain't got yeah, they do. Anymore. You will so you never gotta... be. Yeah, you will always be yeah. taken care of. <laughs> oh my God. Can I show you guys my other cool, cool little accessory that I have? Of course. Yeah. I have this um, thing. Oh, it's yeah. Like a little ring. Right. Mm-hmm. So, um, you put it on your wine glass. I mean, your mm-hmm. wine bottle, like so. So now it's got a little felt. So when you pour it, you know that little drip that drips down the bottle, and you gotta like clean it up. This mm-hmm. will catch it, so you don't drip all mm-hmm. over the place. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yes, that's wow. a good. Have those- those red wine rings on your pretty, right. you know, granite countertops right. and stuff. Mm-hmm. There you go. Yes, yes. Oh, we're ready for the second tasting. Huh? Are we ready? Yeah. I finally got my bottle of Finally. <laughs> awesome. So go ahead. Uh, Tell us what we're drinking for bottle number two. So for bottle number two, I've selected a Josh Reserve. This is a Josh Cabernet Sauvignon, and it is the bourbon barrel aged. Bourbon Sounds barrel aged. Very yeah, posh. It, it goes for a measly $20, depending upon your store. I found mine at like $17.99. But really? You got like some change? 21 dollars Yes, for me, this is expensive. And I'm sorry, but you're if you're buying a $20 bottle of wine, you don't need a $5.99 bottle opener. <laughs> or your electric or maybe wine. because so you let spend me explain money this. on the opener, you can yes. actually afford better wine. Afford a $20 bottle of wine because I don't think a $20 Probably. bottle of wine is expensive. But I oh. will say this, it's not. This is for, (laughs) this is for, let's say, an honors beginner, an AP beginner in wine. This would be a bottle for this, right? Yeah. It's a $20 bottle. It's a Cabernet Sauvignon. It's a very different red. 
you're probably used to hearing about Merlot or Pinot Noir, but caps are amazing. Caps are and this is, Yes. And we are all trying this wine for the first time because yeah. you know, I already smell it. It smells different. I haven't even poured it in my glass yet. You know, Ooh. I know like Josh, I've had Josh it's, before. I've just never had the reserve bourbon barrel aged yeah. version on my it smells. Side. It smells very nutty. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right? I get that. I get that. Yes. Yes. It's like a very distinct smell, not like your regular, like. Yeah, I like to pour a big glass, people. Red this wine. is really beginner. <laughs> All right. Pour away. Are it does. It almost smells like a little flowery, too. Or floral would be the word. Yeah, it's like a nutty floral. Yeah. I don't know. All right. Are we ready to taste it? it? Wait, wait. Does it mean that there's bourbon in it? No, no, no. No, the it's, barrel. The, it's the barrel. The, the barrel. barrel has, the oh. barrel soaked in bourbon. Right. Okay. So it says... Um, oh, let, yeah. Let's tell the people about the wine. By we aging in all bourbon drink. barrels for two months, yeah. the wine mm -hmm. is enhanced. You know what? Why am I reading it? You should be reading it, Destiny. This is your it's wine. Your, not it's mine. your wine. Yeah, yeah but you already wine. started. Yeah. And you, you, you're a teacher, so you read better than I do. Oh, God. Don't tell people that. All right. Anybody <laughs> can figure it out on their own. All right. No, read it. <laughs> by aging, okay. By aging in oak bourbon barrels for two months, this wine is enhanced with subtle notes of caramel, mm -hmm. vanilla, and mm -hmm. a hint of bourbon. Mm -hmm. The resulting Cabernet Sauvignon is bold yet well balanced, with scents of dark fruit and pepper and a long yeah oh i like that oh i like a long finish hey, I'm ready for something. Oh, yes okay okay All let's right. try it okay. okay it's um it's bitter i like it's it i like it too it is dry it is dry so if you're looking for a wine that's to me, it's a bit dry. This rough. is a wine for me. And it's, yeah. oh, I like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It has like, it's smooth when you first drink it, but then at the end, it's like, yes. Pow, mm -hmm. Right? Yes. Because yeah, when it rolls the down the tongue. Isn't too big for me. It's that no. long finish you like. Mm, yes. Yes. It's not bad. No, it's good. It's, you know what, it's like the Josh, like the, like the, kind of like the regular Cabernet Josh that mm -hmm. goes by like a, 11 to $12 too, like, or 11 mm -hmm. to 15, but it has like an added flavor to it and it has to be the yeah. bourbon, it's but bad. I don't know exactly. Oh, wait, but wait a minute. I, I got a little burn. Uh, you, did you get a little burn? Yeah. Because I just got a little burn right now. It's oh, dry. now I got it because you said it. Now I'm noticing. No, it's dry. Mm -hmm. Especially when I compare it to the previous one. No, it's not know? dry. That's what, a little burn. What was the alcohol content on this? The alcohol content is 14.5%. And people, okay. I'm not old. I got my eyes dilated today. That's why I'm looking like at the bottle. Like this. <laughs> I am old, so that's why I'm looking at the bottle. Like, so that was a really good Josh. But what did you select, Nat? What do you have for us? So I have um, it's it's a bubbly and it's a Spanish Cava sparkling wine. Um, and this is exclusively made for Trader Joe's. So you can only get it at Trader Joe's. I've tried to order it online. No. Anywhere, you can't no. order it online? You can't order it online. Well, and it's how only are our viewers in the UK going to get it? Mm, they're going to have to come here to Trader, Trader Joe's. Joe's online. I don't know. Mm -hmm. okay. They can have drones fly it in. <laughs> Anyways. It's only five ninety nine, you guys, and this is like my go to five ninety nine. Well, this right. is why you have a forty dollar wine opener, because mm -hmm. yes, but you get that good girl. And not just that, not just that. I will say this: when I went to pick up this wine, 
it was only one bottle left. Wow. I probably bought all the other ones. <laughs> one <laughs> bottle left. Because I went to the Trader Joe's by your house. That's the closest one to me. Yeah. Oh. And I was it was two, one. And there were only two left. And I'm like, wait, let me leave one. And I, I was like, maybe Dusty uses my Trader Joe's. You see? Yes. Thank you, because I had to get on my knees because it was at the bottom shelf. Mm -hmm. It yeah. was, and I was so afraid that they ran out of mine, too. It was yeah. not, like I had to get down and look to grab and they're this so bottle. they're super stingy with it because they only put out like six bottles at a time because mm. they know. They know. So not, they know. Yeah. They know the people so want it. It's mm -hmm. delicious. It doesn't give you a hangover the next day like most uh, cheap Which is what bubbly always does to me. Most yeah. cheap bubblies do that. <laughs> this one, no. It's very good. So let's try it. Let's try it. Yes, let's yes, try yes. it. Open it up. Oh, I highly you know what? recommend this. For uh, wine beginners, let's show them how to properly open Okay. a bottle a sparkling wine bottle and i'm gonna tell you i typically have a towel with me mm -hmm. i think i need to go get my towel i, have um, I never have a towel i guys. always have a towel with yes me. go ahead this is how i, I learned how to open champagne yeah. i watched a you my towel and this is how mm -hmm. to do it you guys you don't have to be scared that it's gonna pop up or right right oh my god yeah I'm you don't have to do that that's for new year's eve and weddings mm -hmm. and yeah. birthdays and things like that and like <laughs> if you're at the strip club or whatever you know. <laughs> that too <So> why not <laughs> whatever kind of celebration yeah. where are you at yeah nah. this, this is the classy <laughs> way to do it without poking someone's eye out Right. So you just oh. take the foil, mm -hmm. the little wire thing cage, mm -hmm. and you grab a towel and you just twist. Yeah. Twist. Yeah. And, and it, oh, there you go. Oh, there you okay. go. Yeah. Well, so very. It, it. And it. It's a lot easier with the towel. I'm upset that I don't have my towel, but it is. I didn't even there know there was a on. towel involved. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. So then you just pull the tab down. Yeah. And then you pour like this. You have to pour it like this so you don't get all at the... At an angle? Yes. The it's bubble. like pouring beer. It's like pouring beer. Slowly. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, I yeah, want to do it without... my wine glass, my shandy <gasps> glass. What is it says? Schneebly's. Schneebly's wine tree. This is from when we went... I think this was like our first girls trip. We went to this winery with our friends. But I got and, a wine um, glass, not a shandy glass. Oh well, they no. they had shampoo glasses too. Yeah, yeah, they sell shampoo. We gotta go back. Yeah. So for those of you guys who don't know, Schneebly's is a local winery here in Florida. Um, they don't do typical wine. Do not look for a Pinot Noir no. or they do fruit wine. Home. They do yeah, that's... wine because Very the wines sweet. are. Made. It's very good yeah. for beginners. Right. And the wines they make are because in Florida, you can only grow certain types of fruit. Yes. We do not have the environment to grow grapes Correct. to produce the, the right types of wine. Just right. Mm -hmm. So in Homestead, there's a place called the Redlands. The, the sand is red. The ground is red. It's like red clay. And there are a lot of farms in South Florida there. And there's a winery, Schneebly's, that produces wine from the locally grown fr fruits mm -hmm. in South Florida. And it's awesome. So look them up it's online. Beautiful there. Yeah. It's beautiful. The wines are amazing. Like Matt said, they are sweet wine, but they do have an avocado wine. Do you remember oh, that? Yeah, I'm not a fan. I ain't like it, but they got it. You know, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. health conscious people, they might want it. Yeah, I don't know. No, but mm -hmm. It was very interesting. You know, it was out of, you know, the norm. I was intrigued by it. That was fun. But um, yeah, and it's a good time. Friends, wine, what could be better than that? It was a Honestly. good time. Yeah. All right. So I, I need a towel because it won't open with my bare hands. <gasps> I'm so sorry. Oh. <laughs> 
Mm, so can I show you guys love. while Ty is struggling another wine accessory? Yeah. I am the wine accessory queen. So this is my champagne closer thingy. Since oh, you can't put the yeah. yeah. Nat, you're coming through with the accessories, Nat. Come so on. This, sure one, ah. this one you can get at Publix for like $13, $14. It's a little pricey, but it's worth it for your it's, champagne if you're yeah. a champagne drinker. So you just put it on top like that. You pop it down and you just close it up and there you go. Your champagne is sealed. That is so awesome. Uh-oh. I poured it wrong. Beginner. Okay, Ty, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to come over and help you? I want you to come over anytime, every day, oh, honey. Thank you. All right. Yeah. There we go. Big okay, boy yeah, drink. All right. Ready? ready. Cheers. cheers. What are we cheers. talking to? Cheers. To bubbly. To, to bubbly. bubbly. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh That's my why God, I love Scott Bubbly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Poor, poor G tonight. Mm -hmm. oh my God. <laughs> Honestly, I like it. I really do. Um, it's, it's not really super good. dry. No, no, but it's not sweet. And it's not, it's not sweet. Which it's I don't sweet. like. But champagne is known to have a lot of sugar though, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Which kind of like. But you don't taste it. But no, you don't it. taste it, no, right? No. I think because of the carbonation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's very crisp. But it's bubbly. And what mm -hmm. I like to do, I like to throw in a couple of like raspberries in it just for a little mm -hmm. more. That's flavor. always cute. Yeah. yeah. Depth or, you know, a little bit of more flavor because it is mm -hmm. very like plain and just, you know, it doesn't well, I really wouldn't even have... consider it plain. No, I think it's, 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 uh, it's go ahead, light, Matt. but it's got a character to it. Yeah, there's a, it's there's, there's, crisp. it's definitely, yes, it's not I would just, say that it's, too. It's That's a good word for crisp, it. But even in the flavor, I don't know if it's like hints of apple or peach. When I sip this, I think of a fall day. Like, it, it's got a character to it of its own and it's it's like a springy but fall character mm. i know do it you think it's sense, does it taste like a 5.99 wine uh, it does no. not taste like a 5.99 no, right? sparkling wine it no really like amazing. if you have like an andre or mm -hmm. something that's like a cheap oh uh, yeah oh Lord, wine, you, you can don't get tell. the yeah, yeah. Oh, andre oh, you God. i gotta i gotta mix andre with a lot of orange juice boy what kick i'm trying to say i'm trying to see the alcohol content but i can't oh, oh it's actually oh, 11.5 11. so it's the lowest of the three. Oh my oh, god you know 11.5 i can't see because my eyes were dilated today and, and it's, it's actually one of the, the biggest fonts yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's bouquet is fresh and fruity, crisp and light with fast rising bubbles. Its delicate rich taste is extremely refreshing and makes any occasion a memorable one. I would agree. I agree definitely with Dude, the crisp. You can get a case fruit. of it, a case of this for New Year's Eve and you're good. Yeah. I definitely have this like at a wedding with cake. Okay. Yeah, it's That's very a good light. idea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But and then it's again, affordable. you mentioned yes, it's the what the best price yeah. out of the three. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Destiny, you were talking about fruits. Mm -hmm. Not you were talking about raspberries. Yeah, I I mm -hmm. can see that. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. I like this. Them. This yeah, is an I'm excellent choice, like Matt. I should have told all wish. my friends about it. Yeah, you yeah, know, I don't I think it's like as sweet more. as other champagnes at this value, at this price, mm -hmm. are. This one is at actually this like... price range. Now, this this is the best hands down at its price range. Yes. Yeah. Definitely. For sure. Best hands down at the price range. Yes, I agree. Mm -hmm. Cheers to that. Go Trader mm -hmm. Joe's. Thank you, Trader Joe's. All Nat. right. I see and you, go Trader Joe's. Mm -hmm. And Nat, for okay. always knowing how to find 
a good deal. Yeah. Mm-hmm. A good bubbly for a good mm-hmm. wine. <laughs> a good bubbly for a good wine night. These wines mm-hmm. were exceptional. I'm so glad I got to try all three. I'm so yeah. glad I got to sh- try them with you guys. And I'm glad everyone out there got to try them with us. And we hope that these wines have been beneficial to you. But I wanted to introduce one other wine that we are not going to try. Because where we are with our wine palette, we ain't going back. But Uh, I do understand that a lot of people who try wines for the first time do look for and prefer a sweeter wine. Yeah. So. For those on a budget and who like sweeter wine, that no, I do not drink this. I'm gonna make this very <laughs> clear. But oh I know God. people that do, and they love it, and they recommend it. This wine came highly recommended. It is extremely affordable because it's the Gallo family, and it is a strawberry, a sweet strawberry wine. Now everybody mm. loves strawberry wine. I like the song, but I don't know about the wine. (laughs) Well, I'm not even going to suggest that you try it, Ty, because you won't like it. It's a sweet wine. Um, But you can buy it at... Some Publix have it. When Dixie has it, it's like a $10 bottle of wine. It's very affordable. And look at the size. Yeah, that's the alcohol content. The alcohol content... No, we don't have time. She got her eyes dilated. (laughs) Nine percent. See, and y'all be want to play with these sweet wines, and they don't have no alcohol in them. Just pure hangover. I I think that's why I I skipped those wines. Yes, pure hangover. Percent by volume. I would give her sugar for that. I need you to be in the double digits. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I'm with you, Tap. I'm with you, Tap. Thank That's you. why well, I don't drink it all. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. Yeah. Let's toast to that. The cheers. wisest yeah. words ever spoken. Yes. <laughs> oh, man. This is, oh, my God. Oh, I am God. having so much fun. And I'm just down to party now. And Woo-hoo! now, I know you got a playlist for us. I know yes. you Yeah. Tell us, tell us what uh, you got. Yes. So, yes, of course, I have a playlist. So um, my playlist um, for Wine for Beginners, the first song is Red Red Wine by UB40. The classic. Another oldie. We yeah. love oldies, don't we? Yes, That's we an do. awesome mm-hmm. song. Great song. Next song is What's My Name, Fe- uh, Drake featuring Rihanna. Mm-hmm. And they talk about good <laughs> weed, white wine. Boo, 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 I come in alive wine. in the nighttime. Yes, thank okay, you. Okay, let it go. Oh, all right. We ain't gonna go there. We ain't gonna go there tonight. <laughs> but yeah, that's a good choice, Nat. <laughs> and then um, Strawberry Wine by Zianna Carter, which no, it's, yeah. it's our first country song that debuts on the playlist. Which and I'm might be the only one. Like might be doing because no, I, I that's I the like only country, country song music. I like. Oh, okay. First of all, I'm super excited that Strawberry Wine by Deanna Carter yeah. is the first song, the first country song to make it on the playlist. Ty, Ty Jesus, that's the wine. Ty has his own version of uh, why he feels connected to this song. But I do too. My freshman year of college, this album came out and it is the first country music album I ever purchased. Oh, wow. I ever, I know. And, and this was like 96, something like that. And, <laughs> yeah, definitely the Wait, what's that? What's that? Wait, maybe. The I, last century? Yeah. Yeah. Like that. I like that. Of the century. <laughs> but anyway. Um, yeah, it was the first country music album I ever purchased, and I fell in. I know every song on that album. Even got my sister and my cousin listening to it. It's a great song. I'm a, I'm gonna listen to it right after we're done here. Uh, yeah, it's Ty a good song. Awesome. 
Ty's also connected to that song. Well, for me, it reminds me a lot of my friend. Um, her name, I call her Len. Her name is Marlene. Um, Hi, Len. Yes. You know, Love she grew them. up with this kind of music. So then one night she's playing it and I'm like, what is this? And then <laughs> it went from me poking fun at it so much that I would, it's on my playlist. Like if it pops up, I'm not going to stop it. I love that song. So yeah. that's where that comes in with that song. I just, it's so, I don't know. Awesome. It's romantic. That, I, it's very and it's about romantic. wine. <laughs> it's yeah. perfect. <laughs> but I, I I'm just going to add, like, I'm going to tell you what the song is about. I don't know why we didn't say that. Anyway, the song is about, it's a young girl and she's thinking back on like her first love and she just really recounts that story and it's really a coming of age song it's a beautiful song it makes me think of the heartland of america i don't know why yeah, maybe because it's a country of, album yeah. but you, you get that feeling too like well my friend I, is from just, pennsylvania so like she grew up like in the i want to say in that area so it's not necessarily the heartland but it is like very, it has that a very Americana, Americana. yeah, very yeah. Americana, right? That yeah, song, yeah. I get the feeling from that song. Yeah, um, but it does. also uh, when I first went off to college, um, that was the environment in which I was in. Oh, so okay. uh, yeah, so it, it was a very beautiful. It's a very beautiful song. I mm-hmm. love it. Great um, pick, it, guys. Yeah, great choice, Nat. Yay! Thank you. So this next song, I love drinking to this song because it just gets me so into it, which is Swimming Pools Drink mm. by Kendrick Lamar. Yes. What? Yes. What? Yeah. Love that song. Yes. But Kendrick Lamar yes. is awesome. Like his music is, I, I really enjoy it thoroughly. Yeah. Yeah. He's amazing. It get me ready. Nat, it's at first when you said like it gets you excited to you, um, drink to that song I was like what but then you said what it was and I'm like yeah okay and then the last song um is very special it's a it's scenes from an Italian restaurant by Billy Joel um and my husband introduced me to Billy Joel because I you know I wasn't really a big fan but this is a great song one of his many many good songs he's so talented and he talks about a bottle of white a bottle of red okay. very romantic yeah. and nice so it's I hope you guys enjoy it and um yeah yeah that was an awesome playlist Nat and I've had so much fun tonight but yes. please yes it was fun it was so fun, much fun. all of you listening out there or even participating with us Drop a comment and let us know if you've tried any of these wines and what you think of them. Or let us know and give us some ideas for suggestions for wine beginners or even seasoned drinkers like us. Who knows? This has been a fun night. I'm so glad to have shared it with you, 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 and all of you out there this has been so much fun yes 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 i hope everyone takes all the advice we gave them because it was some good advice especially about that wine opener now see i don't lost the wine opener that's the problem if you have an electric wine opener it's plugged up you always know where it's at if you don't you're gonna be like me looking for the wine opener but that's another story Let's toast to wine. Cheers. 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 Happy wine night. Happy wine night. Happy, happy wine night. Great job, guys. Mm. Oh, again. Okay. Uh. Mm.